Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Mick Alphanim. So we're going to begin here with a little bit of flare news. So this is what it says from this tweet. We're pleased to announce a partnership with at Uppercent who are launching the first NFT marketplace for e-learning. NFTs on Flare will power access to exclusive online courses taught by the top 1% achievers in the world. So Flare moves forward. They're doing a little bit more activity. This is good. I'm interested to see where they go. Um, I'm hoping they have a bright future, but we'll, we'll try to stay up to date on it and we'll, we'll follow them and see where this all plays out. All right, but this is good activity. Let's uh, continue on here. I want to get to this news here about XDC. So uh, everyone knows XDC's main market is trade finance. Uh, they've been dominating there, doing a great job. The only other big bank coin or blockchain that I know of that is really in deep with trade finance is uh, Ripple. Uh, however, they don't really make that the, the uh, highlight of what they do. Obviously, it's interbank payments for XRP on XRPL. But anyway, I want to go here because XDC is a member of the Global Trade Finance Distribution uh, Group. Now, if you go to that, that particular website, tradefinancedistribution.com, it lets you know how much power XD, XDC has, the type of respect XDC has, and what the future could possibly hold. All right. Now, if you scroll down here, you'll see this little section that says banks. These are banks that are members along with XDC, Zenfin. Zenfin is the only blockchain uh, that I know of, and I believe this is what was reported, that is a member of this particular initiative. Now let's read off some of these banks so you can glean for yourself the, the power that XDC has access to. So one, Gulf International Bank, Africa Finance Corporation, Landis Baden, Wurttemberg Bank, Commonwealth Bank, Credit Agricoli, Crown Agents Bank, Deutsche Bank, London for Fading, Rabobank, SMBC, Standard Bank, Standard Charter, ABN AMRO, AKA, European Export and Trade, ANZ, Banco do Brazil, uh, Bank ABC, HSBC, ING, Lloyds Bank, Natixis, QMB, NBB, so this is a lot of different institutions, brokers, tech sell, insurers, export, credit, guarantee of Egypt. You see where we're going? Look at the power they have access to. This is when you know a project has potentiality in the future. A project can explode in the future. When you see those partnerships lined up, when you see businesses that move billions of dollars every year, millions and billions lining up to partner and shake hands with a company, then you know that company has some potential. There's no guarantees in anything, but you got to do your own due diligence. You have to do your own research. Stay up on this. There, nobody knows any timeline. You have to make your own timeline based on your own judgments. Why would you trust anyone else? Trust yourself more than everyone else. You would do well to do that. Waters get dangerous when you start trusting other people too much. Non-bank originators, trade, finance, global, financier, Swiss, my credit service, uh, uh, Vabble, Peridot, like the power of this group is, is unbelievable. So I just wanted to cover that a little bit and just I mean, a lot of people don't understand. And this is just a portion of what Zenfin is trying to do, right? You have other offerings on Zenfin like Impel, for example. Impel is trying to, I'm going to read you this here. This is from CoinGecko.com. Impel, a fintech platform that uses blockchain technology to deliver financial messages and payments has developed the R3 quarter bridge to connect future facing banks and institutions to the XDC network. So they're even looking to bring more banks to XDC. You see where this is going? So it's not just trade finance. I mean, they have bank, <laughs> bank aspirations. They have bank connections, heavy bank connections. That's on top of the trillions that stand to come in from trade finance. If everything, of course, goes according to plan. But um, XDC, I mean, Zenfin has been, been doing an amazing job. Uh, been, they've been taking a lot of meetings. I'm waiting to see. I'm, I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of potent announcements coming this year. But, you know, we'll keep our eyes open. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Now, I'm going to cover this a little bit here. This is from VeChain, another one of our utility coins that is it's not a bank coin, but it has massive utility and is dominating its sector. So you have like XDC is dominating trade finance. 
Then you have VeChain is dominating traceability. They have great potential. So this was uh, tweeted here by Eisenreich and it says VeChain's collaboration with FoodGates was highlighted in a recent publication, a blockchain based reg tech system for a product safety enforcement. Now, this is very interesting because VeChain has been getting very, very close with and deep in China. You know, China doesn't really like a lot of different distributed ledger technologies unless it's their own CBDC. But VeChain has been making some strides there. So now let's take a look at this here. Of course, you know, they announced this. This was a they had a partnership with Food Gates, which originated in 2019. There's a little subtweet here. This is announcing Food Gates across continental logistics and trade platform powered by hashtag VeChain. Now, the reason I mentioned China is China could be big if VeChain has access to the rest of the world and on top of it has access to China. I mean, that's that's more access than most. That's a lot of value that could be possibly moved. That's a lot of traceability that could be provided. Um, of course, we don't have regulatory clarity. There's a lot of politics going on, geopolitical things going on. So VeChain hasn't been able to expand like it could. But when there's regulatory clarity, things are a little bit better in the world. Expect VeChain to take off like a rocket, in my humble opinion, not financial advice. But let's uh, squeeze this here. Sorry, I said squeeze because you have to like uh, squeeze to like open up the the. the the image. So anyway, this is what it says here in their attachment from that particular document. It says in August 2020, a Chinese buyer ordered French kids milk brand Petite uh, 1905 from a French producer in Normandy. The following pieces of information were retrieved from Foodgate's platform and registered on VeChain blockchain using Blockflow. First, there is information related to the product that the Chinese buyer access before making the decision of placing an order picture and description of the product labels and certification maps showing places of provenance in Normandy for the farms and the processing factories A video that shows the farmers cows and the environment where they live name of the farmers size of the farms number of cows owned and production of milk per year in liters from the farmers that contributed to this production my goodness that's a lot of information. And this is why a lot of companies have been partnering, partnering with VeChain. If you ever take a look at the VeChain ecosystem picture, it's one of the absolute biggest ecosystems I've ever seen with potent, um, potent partnerships that are just looking to just take off when there's regulatory clarity. Of course, um, they've been doing a tremendous job. Look at the information that they're, they're, they're able to encompass within all of that data just for someone who orders some milk. <laughs> Can you imagine? And so a lot of companies are going to want to use this. Um, a lot of bigger companies over time, of course, uh, will step in, I believe, and be utilizing things like VeChain. You have other traceability offerings also, like on Algorand. Coibanks offers traceability on Algorand. I think Algorand may have a direct offering for traceability also. Uh, Ripple is offering traceability uh, capabilities also. VeChain. I know that Cardano also has traceability uh capabilities via scan trust at one time but i'm not sure what what has come of that i gotta i have to um get an update on that uh so we're gonna end off here this is from hedera okay there's been a lot of uh bad things happening in the crypto industry scam coins and hackers taking people's value and such right so hedera retweeted this from ledger works and it says here Want an extra layer of security for hashtag Hedera wallet? Sentry sends instant notifications for any activity on your Hedera accounts. Whether it's, whether it's balance drain or suspicious transactions, you'll know right away. You can even monitor Ledger accounts. And it says, uh, it has a little link here. It's a safe, safer with Sentry. So there you go. Hedera is promoting more security. As you know, Hedera is very secure. Just like uh, I think they, they claim they have uh, bank grade security. That's how they phrased it. Then you have XDC uh, has military grade security, especially here through Impel. If you go to Impel's website, I think they tell you that on the front page. It says um, it says military grade security. This is something that I believe that if, if the companies in blockchain or, or DLTs that want to work with governments and banks, you're going to have to have the top level security. You're going to have to define it. As of right now, I think only XDC and uh, Hedera define theirs as such bank grade and military grade security. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure all bank coins have the top notch, uh, uh, the best of the best uh, security measures. So 
Everything is looking good right now. We'll come back later. We'll do a little bit of XRP, XLM news, Algorand, the usual in the evening. Um, hopefully everyone's doing well out there. So now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know I'm going to do with it. So until next time, let's get to the money.